All right, Joel, thanks. 446 right now. The heat can certainly uh, these days do a number on your car. And KMU Sands Brenda Washington joins us live from Gardner this morning. Show us exactly what the heat can do. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, guys. You know that he can definitely do a number on our car. That's why we are here in Gardner at Brett's Auto Works this morning under the hood. And we're back here with Leo Murray, who is the co-owner. And you know what? One of the first things to go in the car during the heat, believe it or not, is the battery. And you have sold a record. You said 16 batteries in the last two weeks because of all of this heat. Exactly. Yeah, he just has been doing a number on batteries. What does it do? And show us what can we uh, do to solve the problem. Preventive is cable corrosion, as you see here. Just, just a little bit here. Simple can of now, this is caused by the heat? Heat, heat and just corrosion of battery tape, cable, especially heat will do this. Um, you can buy Coke anywhere. <laughs> anyway, the, the symptom of, yes, you can pour Coke on a cable, um, let it sit. Yeah, we do put this in our stomachs, but it will clean battery cables and then rinse off with water. The only thing you do not want to do is let it drip. Try to do it out in the street. It will, it will stain your concrete. And you can also use battery cleaner. Yeah. Services at automotive shops like this, spraying that on, let it sit, it'll clean, and then rinse off with water. But again, don't do this in your in your garage or in your driveway because right. it will stain your concrete. And real briefly, you were saying that uh, you've had a lot of folks who uh, have batteries that cannot be jump start started mm -hmm. in the summertime. What is the heat doing to the batteries? Lead plates in here will usually melt together and then you can't even jump start them. So it's bad news. <laughs> so the so the uh, thing is to go under the hood, check to make sure you don't have all that corrosion right. on it, and then maybe even take it in and have it serviced and checked out. Yeah, I have it probably checked about every oil change to see the condition of it. And if, like I said, rule of thumb, if it's about five years old, it's probably a good good idea to replace, even though it's starting a vehicle. Okay, well there you have it. If you got an old battery in your car, you may want to think about replacing it now because again, Leo's saying that the heat does more of a number on your battery than the cold. Who would have thought? And we're going to be under the hood again all morning long with some more heat and car tips for you. From Gardner, back to you.